<laughs> I, I respect you a lot. That was not a good numbers impersonation. No, but that's how John sounded. I'm never when taking he was saying to that. Town and City ever again. Only for that one instance. <laughs> it was perfect. Wait, so Spot John on. transformed into another human? He, he turned into Nerd Fox, yeah. Meow! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Meow! Smash 4 Fox is goaded. Uh, I didn't see what stage we were going Fire. to because they didn't um. do it on the select, but. Yeah, I'm not surprised if you are going to smash what John did said he wants to start there more often versus still. We're going to see how it goes. I like the idea of a... Oh, yeah. You can't do that on Town and City. Yeah, I like the idea of a smaller stage. Oh, nice air dodge by John. Nice jump read as well. Not going to work out, though. Um, however, now, Dill with center stage. And we have seen previously in this matchup how good Dill has been at just maintaining that center stage. Okay, though, John right back into that corner. Says, give me the gyro. I'm throwing it at you again. Yeah. Yeah. Nice, and you can see the positioning that John is doing those dash attacks at. I'm not sure if this is intentional or not, but you can sort of see that um, the dash attacks, when, when they're clanking with Gyro, they're not putting um, John in a position where he can get down to the grab, which is, uh, you know, good recognition. Uh, the dash attack, you know, fairly low rest. Okay, yeah, shield was low. So John knew that uh, Jackknife was going to be either uh, just hitting Dill straight up or was going to be uh, poking her. Ooh, great catch to jump in. No jump here, but this Rob. Ooh, the spot that's timing really solid by Dill to get out of that situation. Landing. Okay, gets right down to the ground. And nice. that's all there's enough. John starting off strong in this game number one. Yeah, really smart. Going to the empty landing into the F tilt. It's worth noting, no aerial he had would have had nearly that level of reward as that. Quick yoga pose. Yeah, you can't go low. That's the thing. Like, Rob it puts you in a position that you're forced to go around that gyro, and which means going low. However, uh, Dill taking full advantage there and is going for a clean down active for a whole seven frames. No biggie. Ooh, nice. I'll talk about right there for John. Getting a quick 46, 68. Ooh, that's fair. So, so strong. And deep breathing will likely be out in the next neutral win for John. Will he get it though? Rolling, gets caught by Dill. Yeah. Oh, okay. That was three whole gyro, four whole gyros getting shielded right there. Five? No, okay. Um, however, John in the corner here, tough positioning, but that sour forward air gonna be enough to get Dill away. All right, not opting for grab there, opting for F tilt, maybe trying to catch that jump. Yeah, it is worth noting that uh, Rob's grab range, really kind of pathetic. The yeah. character gets a lot off of it, but it can be difficult, especially no. the way John F tilted that shield. It was actually out of shield Ooh, grab range. Oh, that was range. a poke. Or, or Dill just barely dropped. But uh, that shield was looking pretty low, and John took full advantage with the sun and a parry F tilt on the nair. Going to be enough to take that stop. Yeah, this non-Town uh -oh. City counterpick working out really well for John here. The okay. question is whether or not, I mean, earlier Dill managed to keep things up very quickly. Can John, in fact, capitalize on this lead? They just to get a full edge now. Nice utilization of, like, uh, get up attack to get past the, um... Ooh! Okay, just going for the forward air string. Looking for another follow-up off the stage. Okay, John going for that dare. No really harm done there. Oh, that was such a good roll read right there. John able to get the most damage he could out of it. And as a result, Dill at 91%. Yeah. There it is. Number had been going for those dash attacks quite a bit, and that one was unsafe on shield. Up smash out of shield more than enough to do it. And now we have one stock of these. Uh-oh! Okay. <laughs> John does not die there. Just barely. Scary stuff. Up air. Dill still living in that position. She's been pretty solid with the DI. Oh, you <laughs> don't. Do you have a jump? You do have a jump. Okay, thank you. Good golly, Tamal, that you were going to die if you didn't. Ooh. I feel like this is actually kind of an awkward range uh, for Dill for numbers to be in. Yeah, because you, you, you don't have really uh, side beat converted right now. Yeah, instead, Dill has to just play extremely carefully, not let herself get caught by any of those numbers finishers, while also trying to tack on damage as much as she can. I mean, that's what she's kind of doing at the moment, but yeah, forced to shield a lot. Numbers has been pressuring that shield really effectively. Okay, has deep breathing, so we'll be living just a tiny bit longer, but you're in a position here. Back, oh, not enough just yet. Okay, Dill gonna go high, no surprise there. 
been working out for her. We're getting back to stage that Nair is through the platform. Oh my, oh, oh gosh. That, fo that forward smash almost netting Dill that stock. Nearly 200% onto Dill. No gas. Yeah, it's uh, no gas and no gas and no breaks. Numbers is going yeah. to find the up air after all of that time. Great patience. He did not try to go up there to meet Dill instead. Let that research just get expended. Yeah, and after this, Dill was sort of forced to uh, preserve the double jump the whole time, which is impressive. But jumping off the platform there, that is a Rob Classic. That's, jump off the platform look at there. The timing on this. Yeah, it had to be tight to get around that Nair. Yeah, look at that. Wow, look yeah. Look at that. The Nair hadn't come back down yet. You can you can see it here. Because the Nair starts below Rob. Yeah. So you, you, can, you can see it on, on startup. So let me go. One. So you can see the Nair come out. Below Rob. Oh, he's yeah. just below Rob. And then it's like you see it takes this arc around. Mm -hmm. And it was around, I think it's around like the time it gets to here yeah. or and so. It, and it does do a full circle, so it hits below him again. Yes, like, but like just managing to find the time, that entire arc takes almost no time at all. Yeah. The timing of this is just so pivotal. We can actually, we can actually wow. see how many frames that it takes. So the move is out. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so caught in a like five or six. I mean, it's probably a little bit more than that because he had maybe a frame or two more to hit that up air. But um, still, like a six frame window, impressive uh, by John to recognize the situation, go for that up air, take that stock, and a big game number one for John on the new starter of Smashville in this uh, matchup. It's worth noting Town and City was banned, if I understand yeah. correctly. That was normally the stage that numbers would just go to against mm -hmm. Dill, and now actively banning it. And I think it's working out well for him. Okay, Ethel right there on the down tilts from Rob. Okay. Okay, utilizing the jab on shield. This is a poke. Not working out for John. Uh, Dill maintaining that stage control with the gyro. Okay, gonna full hop, missing the short hop uh, confirm right there. Back over to laser, and John was going straight for the deep breathing and messes up. That's costly potentially. Oh, you're dead. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Even with good mashing, it's not enough. That is a massive pickup for Dill. Only at 51%. There's. So much that she can do with this type of gap. Okay, catching that nair with the uh, up air. That's the very tail end of neutral air. You know, despite the fact that Doe was punished for doing it before, still opting to land with these neutral airs quite a bit. Oh, and the salute to Sun on the gyro. Excellent recognition right there by John. And did a little short hop on top of that, just so it went over the gyro as well. Really great recognition. It's matchup knowledge from John. But a DI out on that dash deck is going to be enough. John can take that stock, and really not that bad of a deficit at all, considering how early he lost that stock. Oh, scary stuff. Okay, not gonna lose the stock. Yeah, speaking of early stocks, we are actually still at that threat point, but gyro in hand for Tom means that most likely yeah, not gonna be dying to the silly things. Oh, gyro still in hand. Going to use it possibly for the edge guard. No, just tosses it. Okay, but nice uh, utilization of the sun on that landing from John at an 86% deficit right now. Not. Oh, wow. Great utilization of the gyro right there in front of the dare. Excellent usage, just great matchup knowledge by John Numbers, but the DI mix up on the uh, up air, tough to recognize where you're gonna be. Yeah. And that's gonna be a stock for Dill. And it's worth noting Dill did not get the, the lock off of down tilt, but did not matter. She still managed to find the kill soon after. And now Numbers is gonna have to repeat that same second stock success. Oh God. No, the double toss. No. I don't think a, a normal, so, so okay, to explain. So the input for double toss there is grab, um, grab, attack, grab. So if you input it too fast, you get an air dodge. Um, and then that obviously grab, attack, grab, or rather the double item toss confirms into the side B. Uh, and Dill is a little bit notorious for like not having those, but had it right there just a little bit off. Yeah, but. You need perfection. At this point, numbers not actually in that bad of a spot. Not a great spot for sure. 98% on ledge against Rob. That's pretty grim, but at the same time, he's ooh, he's able to, uh, if he can survive here, WeFit has great comeback potential between deep breathing and all of the just damage and it, out and it is now active. Nice, and utilize the side. We just stall right there, get past that. 
Okay, not gonna have need to mash just yet. Dill very, very aware. Numbers has not gone off this ledge in the last 30 seconds. Yeah. Okay, Pulse, that's big. Allows John to get a start in neutral. Okay, not gonna get hit by Gyro 2. That's really big, allowing um, John to just maintain that stage control. Catches the air dodge down. Doesn't have deep breathing active, but no up smash coming out from Dill there on the unsafe dash attack. Yeah, that's how she meant taking, or sorry, take a stock earlier. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. John going for a greedy down air right there. Dill ready with the up air, active as ever. And that's gonna take that stock and allow Dill to take game number two. Yeah, that's John has been going for that particular down air yeah. quite frequently. Also, just like pay look at look at this nonsense with the ooh. Look how little end lag that move has. Yeah, that's the Robo Beam is like. Rob, Rob has no end. Oh, we're going Megalovania. No, we're not. Okay. Wait, maybe we are. Huh. I roll. <laughs> little eye roll. And John, you carry. <laughs> Uh, but right. yeah, almost a comeback right there for John, but Dill holding strong. She wins game number two. And now we see what the result will be um, in terms of what we're looking at next. It looks like we are going to go to Small Battlefield. Is that what John picked? Yep. I, don't know, I, don't know like I know that that's one of John's favorite stages to yes. go to. If the opponent does not ban it, he usually will yeah. make his way over to it. Yeah. And actually, these might be John's ba or, uh, Dill's bans from last time. So. Are we? Okay, we are just going to go back. John also just very well known for running it back. Also, um, you fool. Uh, you've given him the chance to play, have Megalovania. Yeah. I, I'm uh, sorry. This is what makes this sick. Music, music to chill and plank to. Um, John Umbers. Um, <laughs> music to chill and nair to. Yeah. <laughs> That's still. Um, uh, both of these. Yeah. So, uh, John right now, um, in that corner once again. It has been working out for him fairly well. Uh, okay, nice nair back air. Huge damage to the deep breathing active. Okay. You look up and should, uh, one thing that we does absolutely have are excellent, um, like, sort of platform pressure with that nair, with that up air on landing. Um, really tough to really do much about that when you're on platform and shielding. Okay, John maintain that center stage. Runs back. Dill now in a position where needs to get some percent here. John really not afraid um, to play this corner game. However, did you lose jump? No. Okay, kept it active that, that, that time. A little bit of a weird situation there, but John preserving jump as always. Okay, up air, no jump coming out from yeah. Dill. Oh, that gyro was coming back down. Dill gets out of there just in time for that not to be a factor. And did John even air dodge there? Did, was that like some... I think, I think he is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but a quick dare on John's ledge hang. Gonna be you got that high percent, not gonna have that much invincibility. And it's going to be uh, dilting in that first stock, which is huge because John had a strong start, but a back air on the startup of the laser is gonna be enough. John even gets this right back up. Ooh, both players oh, up tilt clinking. Oh, dare? Oh. Okay. This is still solid damage. The question is whether number numbers has not gotten like one of those really impactful edge guards. Yeah. And it's so tough against Rob. I mean, Rob can have trouble getting down to the floor sometimes. Uh, Rob has one of the best recoveries in the game, though. He he. It is tough to kill Rob off the side of the stage. Oh, nice wait right there by John. Gets the parry on the nair. F to punish. Okay. Don't need to get back down to the floor. Gonna be able to do so with a drift in. Okay. Yeah, number has been going for that up smash on the platform, despite the fact that Bill never seems to be falling for it. She's always avoiding the platform whenever Numbers is looking for it. Ooh, that fair, not safe due to the lack of deep breathing, but an air dodge read by Dill. So good, no jump. Oh no, wow. John is confuses me constantly. <laughs> well, because he's using it's he oh, uses wow. the uh, oh that's fantastic. Uses that uh the header as like a pseudo yeah. jump to stall himself and give him that extra height. 
Okay, still knowing that roll was going to be fairly safe there, but John ready to react with a grab. Not a big punish, but a punish nonetheless. Has John this advantage? No. Okay, not going to be able to get uh, the full punish off or anything. Yeah, John was Smash so good. aware of the grab that was going to be coming in there. Numbers oh. looking for it, and now deep breathing. I think it might be running out soon. And with now, it, the now we definitely buff. don't have a jump. Yeah, jo Dil or, wow, John goes high in the drift out, and that's enough for Dill to take, or rather for John to take that stock. Dill now down, and this is game three between these two. Numbers is <laughs> one stock away from guaranteeing himself a spot in winners finals. And the question is whether or not he can do it. Dill has been playing really consistently, and if she manages to take this stock right here, I mean that's an even game if I ever seen one. Okay. Wow, and a great uh, tomahawk by John there. Has not really done that very much all set. Ethel on the um, second place. And now John is in an excellent position. Already has Dill the 85% mark. But now past 100. And the sun is enough. John over Dill. The new starter stage worked out for John. And John will be moving on to winner's finals to fight against Vivi. Now yeah. I want to point out... Um, there is second stock when uh, John uh, was was drifting back and just barely got past the down smash from Rob. Devin screamed, "Just side B," uh, and he's right. Uh, Dill could have taken that stock before losing it to John. Um, it could have changed the whole look of that game. Um, yeah. That's that's that is a unfortunate missed opportunity here. Yeah, I'm gonna pause right here. So John has to go high, right? We know he has no jump. So John needs to go high here. Does so, and in this position, you're Rob. As soon as you jump back to stage, Weave Trainer has two options drift out and die, or drift in and you have to only snap leads. Because Weave drift, Alpha Sivy is fine, but it's not great. Um, so, you're gonna see right there, goes for down smash, a side B, absolutely more than enough time uh, to do that. Yeah, and even yeah, side B hits behind as well. So as even soon, if Numbers had full committed to the leftmost drift. Yeah, as, as soon as Numbers went high at, hold on. At pretty much this, yeah, at pretty much this position here. Oh, they're starting already. Uh, but at that position there, 